I just want to see everybody's <laughs> reaction. You got that on video. We're having bacon baps. Because we're also planning on applying for Seth's visa. Can you imagine years from now, the combination of memories we'll have together? work things so i have no idea what this week's gonna look like i know it was gonna look like in terms of work but in terms of the content i know i'll be able to show you and things so let's just see where this week takes us let's see what comes out of this vlog what comes out of this week we're off to the office today so yeah let's do the things i hope you enjoy the vlog <laughs> the workplace to do the things first day of stuff i have not posted a youtube video i've posted one in about two weeks and that makes me really sad <laughs> but my life is just hectic but it's okay let's be as productive as we can be and hopefully next week i'll be able to edit more videos and be in a better routine space to put out videos so let's see we name my kid giles please say that on the family group <laughs> I just want to see everybody's reaction. Are you at the office? Yes, we are. How's it gone so far, Sissy? Great, people are awesome, really cool stories. Yeah! So, successful day so far. Pretty much done for the day. We're pretty much done for the day. In terms of this particular work, we will likely go to a cafe, Karen doing some work, get some lunch probably, and then be done for the day. One of my favorite things will always be walking around like streets in the UK, especially in places I haven't been to. I'm like, this is all so cute, it's so beautiful. Some people are stunning. I'm just about the wind and how it's with it. I'm like, look at that. How cute. What? It's just all so cute. Like, with little details. Like, the street itself. It's just. Oh. I'm so here for it. I'm loving this. Anyway, Seth is out. He's getting lunch. So I'm having to pose across the town to get to where he is. So. <laughs> if I get there, thank you. It's not too cold. Well, let me show you. This, this is all so cute. then I come across but it makes me thankful for two things the first thing is that it genuinely gives me energy to create content and two the fact that Seth and I actually do our absolute best to enjoy just the small things in life we're having bacon baps mm -hmm. <laughs> we're in this I don't know it's not is it a small town uh, we're in the randomest place yeah it's just random in it 
What do people who aren't the elderly do around here? Oh, we have bacon bats. This bun is good, dude. Love you. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. I am, yo, both set now are so tired guys. It's been a really hectic past two weeks, maybe three, because we're also planning on applying for Seth's visa. I'll go into more details on that at some point. I think I'll probably do like a life update, but yo, really seeing flames. It really helps with the work that we're doing. I know it's really meaningful to me and it's a space I'm really grateful to be in, in terms of just being able to do this stuff, you know what I mean? It's like, it's really filling. So essentially what I'm doing is like, conducting interviews for a company, their clients and staff. So I've been kind of back and forth between the areas that they have like offices and clients in. So I don't know, it's been so cool. I really, I really been enjoying it. And like imposter syndrome some days has been not cute, but days like today where I've actively just worked on my mind and been like, just take it easy, mate. You'll get up, but you get out. It's really chilled, it's really chill vibes. Just do your thing because you are capable of doing it. It's like, it sucks that the things, a lot of times the things that we're really good at are the ones that we struggle to do because of like imposter syndrome and not being sure and questioning stuff. But it's like, I've been doing these things for ages or I've had opportunities to do something similar and it's like, just do what you used to doing. But I don't know, one of my things is just to add value. I just want to add value. I'm not adding value on like, why have you hired me? And that's where my brain begins to spiral. But anyway, that's a whole other thing. Let's do some work. Hopefully do a training session tonight because we leave tomorrow. And I'm taking Saturday off in terms of work. I need it. I didn't take my Sabbath last week. So Saturday off, Sunday Sabbath, and then that is this week done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep it going, I guess. interview with the CEO <laughs> the CEO and founder and I'm like <coughs> I was so nervous dude but it went really well she spoke amazingly I'm like creating the content is going to be so easy because it all was just so smooth so beautifully delivered Woo. yo me heart I must say having a YouTube channel is so so beneficial for things like this because I'm like general life skills like communicating with people asking questions and interviewing and just speaking well having a channel has helped me so much with that I'm realizing just give me the confidence to speak because I'm like I speak to my camera all the time sure it's different because it's a device <laughs> but it helps and adds so much value because in my head like I'm speaking to a whole bunch of you I can feel myself on your screen <laughs> talking to you <laughs> so it often feels like you know like i'm presenting or i'm sharing something and just trying to be clear and concise with what i'm wanting to say and what i want to share that's exactly what interviewing someone is and what it's like and even thinking about things like friendship and asking people questions about their life and where they've been and what they've seen i love things like that and having these interviews or conducting these interviews it's just been like that you know it's just been like getting to know someone and asking follow-up questions oh it's been so good let me move over this content so that it's nice and safe and in my hard drive because i'm not trying to have any issues i also need to free up space on there so i can keep filming but yeah done for the week 
really proud of myself. I really hope that the final products represent how I'm feeling. <laughs> Let's go find Seth. He's at a cafe. Got work to do. Goodness. I'm like the amount of submissions. I had a submission for yesterday and did about half of it and then just did the final bits this morning. Got a submission for tomorrow. Gotta get that done. Um, but yeah, otherwise we are all good. Let's have a look here. Here we go. Something. It's so good. This is so much food. Your is our mean our happy finish. Got that on video. Well, me opening the door. Yeah, being squished as he got through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oh, no, hi. 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 Right, we've just arrived back at the house and we are, that's our last night. That's not actually even, last night was our last night. This is our last evening with them. We're going to have dinner with them. And so we just got them some gifts just to say thank you for being with us. They are such good friends of ours, man. I couldn't tell you. And it's been such a filling week. Oh, in all areas, just like speaking about business. Even some of the interviews I've conducted, like just hearing about oh, the heart of the business and just speaking to the staff and everyone. It's just been... It's really been filling <laughs> and even just spending time with our friends has been really good i'm like so we're just gonna give them a little thank you so here's a little gift bag that i'm gonna be using um seth and i have just finished oh let me get that off seth and i have just finished in town getting like all the little gifts and stuff so let's pack it together because yay so we've got oh let me remove i don't understand stores that put like price tags on the items just put it on the shelf you know and leave it there because now i must be like ultra careful to not rip things and also don't want to leave like price marks you see now <laughs> little price marks don't want that but anyway we move so i got a beautiful chopping board uh not chopping board sorry a cheese board because we've spoken or like we've sh exchanged some words that we'd love to do a cheese night with them next time we see them so hopefully like i don't know in a couple of months maybe just before we leave for south africa maybe we'll get to do that yeah it'd be really nice and it fits in here perfectly so yeah what else have we got so they've got three girls, so for the two older ones, just want to get them something cute, something they can have fun with, like enjoy spending time together with. They're just bath fizzers, and they're cute and colorful, so yay. They've got a little baby, she's 18 months old. So she's got like a little cute thing that they can hang up in her room. She's really sweet, so extroverted and loud, <laughs> so funny. And then our friend, this is going to be for Naomi, she loves candles and it smells so good. It's a mandarin, lemon and pink grapefruit. It smells so good. The design, the scent, top tier. Sorry. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Seth's just brought this. Okay, let's finish with this. So, smells good, looks good. It just, yeah, definitely hits the spot. She also loves, I don't know if I said, I think I said that already, but she loves candles. So I was like, would love to add to that. It's also definitely, I feel like more of like a bathroomy scent. So it'd be really nice, like, for a shower or a bath, like I said, if you got like that relaxation, clean kind of scent. Seth got some coffee beans for his friend King. They've been speaking loads about coffee. They've actually been loving their coffee and wine together, which has been really cute. A little bromance this week. So we also got him a plunger, which is fantastic. So just like the two things go together. And that is it. So it's really just a cute little bag just to say thank you. It's really full. I hope it doesn't break or anything you know i should be fine also i'm just carrying it to the house which is right there so here we go full on gift situation let's put that over there it is so heavy and then just a thank you card to be like thank you for having us it's been really lovely let's do it all thank you thank you <laughs> does it look like a j thank you so much for opening your home to us we love you so 
so much. <laughs> I want to say we love making memories with you. I want to say something along the lines of spending time with you that we know will keep our memories forever. Because I'm like, I don't know, man. Visiting people can always... <laughs> you know how Seth mentioned that thing about the culmination of memories? He was just saying like, can you imagine years from now, the culmination of memories we'll have together? because we would have been together for that long and how beautiful that is. And so things like this, like visiting friends and ha I don't know, like having a prolonged time with them, it adds to that. It adds to the culmination of, I don't know, a life fully lived, a full life lived, I don't know, just like a fullness of life. I really just wanted to communicate that really simply. <laughs> if I bless you abundantly, keep his face shining on you. And may he be forever gracious and to each of you. Love, Seth, and Dimps. This is so messy as well. <laughs>